Ballots are arriving at homes across the city for the Anchorage election. Tonight, we look at the district seat in Midtown, where one of the two incumbents this election are being challenged. Joe Kadat tells us about CG. Rebecca, Felix Rivera, a Democrat, is running for his third assembly term, and he's optimistic about being reelected, citing various accomplishments during his six years in the position. Travis Santo, a master carpenter and former reality TV personality, says Anchorage is going to going in a negative direction and leaving working families behind. Rivera, who chairs the Committee on Housing and Homelessness, narrowly defeated his challenger, Christine Hill, in 2020 by less than 200 votes. He says voters should re-elect him because of his experience on the assembly. He says he can get much more done than a newcomer, and he's proud of his accomplishments. I have helped lead a creation of 300-plus housing units that didn't exist a year ago. Right? That wouldn't have existed without my leadership. I helped to found the plan for emergency shelter and created the task force that helped create that plan when the administration completely failed to do so. Santos says this is his first time getting involved with politics and identifies as a Republican. He says public safety is a priority of his along with fiscal transparency. He, said, he says he'd like to see better communication between the assembly and citizens as well. I don't think we've seen a lot of tradesmen on the assembly. Um, and we have a different perspective, I believe, as tradespeople in order to bring maybe a little more groundness to it, um, a little bit more people's voice. We'll have more on each candidate on alaskasnewsource.com, as well as answers from a questionnaire all 17 candidates for assembly filled out on our website.